Hey, hey, hey. Hello and good evening. Welcome, welcome everyone to our April special event right here in the Training That Transforms community. I am so excited to welcome our special guest for tonight, Marianne Hess. Marianne, welcome to Training That Transforms community. How are you tonight? I'm good. How about you? I'm so good. We didn't plan this, but like we're totally in sync with colors. I love it. <laughs> we're operating on the same frequency for sure, for sure, for sure. I love getting the opportunity to introduce people that I know that have personally helped me in some way, shape, or form to expand, to grow, to be even more powerful in this world and share them with people that I enjoy. And that's this group here in this community as well. And I think I've mentioned this a little bit leading up is that I actually hired Marianne Hess probably, I don't know, Marianne, two years ago, at least a good year ago at this point, we met in another program and we were on one of those business exchanges where you talk about like what you do and how you help people. And I had just started this program and, you know, looking to expand and grow my business. It was a business coach. And all of a sudden I was being called upon to act in a way and be visible in the world in a way that I had never been before. So I might look super comfortable right now live streaming, but if you could have seen me two, two years ago, that couldn't be any further from the truth. I would literally, and I'm not even joking, I would do things, even just posting on social media, like even just being visible in small ways on social media, what would literally like send me to my bed with like covers over my head, not even joking. I was so uncomfortable. And what is funny about that for me, and I'm curious if anyone else experiences this as well, you would never in a million years know that about me. So I had a very well cultivated presence, one of confidence and security and, you know, uh, power, you know, the power poses, all the things that they teach you in order to show up in the world and look and, you know, look powerful. But I always like to think about that little duck, right? Who's like flapping away underneath. I, I feel like there's sort of a badge of honor around people like me that show up in this face and in this space but we actually don't feel that way internally. And I had no idea that that disconnect, like I was always like the fake it till you make it, just keep going, right? Fake it till you make it, just keep going. I had no idea, but yet in my head was filled with who are you? You can't do this. People are going to make fun of you. Like all the noise, right? There's so much noise in my head is the only thing I can say. So if you're watching this live, you're catching this on the replay, hit me in the comments with noise. Is there noise in your head? And if there's not noise in your head, I guarantee you the people in your training program are filled with noise around what they can do, what they can't do, what's safe, what's not. And, you know, the truth is that it actually has way more to do with learning how to tap into this internal power center. By the way, I had no idea anything like that ever existed. <laughs> <laughs> Marianne was the one that taught me that. And as you learn to a find out where this thing is, um, there's magical power in there, by the way, for everyone, men, women, you know, any gender, uh, it, this is for you. It's not, you know, it's not for one sex over, over another. It's for everyone. And it literally is, um, as you start to learn the secrets and the power behind this, if you've ever seen someone and you just felt naturally connected to them, if you ever, you know, watch someone from stage or, and they, they just, you just feel like they connected with you. That that's literally because everything from within them is radiating out. And the, the, the most fun for me, Marianne, I'll say is that I love when people say to me now, what's different about you? And they always ask, is it your hair? That's the first one. Is it your hair? No, no, it's still gray, just covered in blonde, right? Um, and, the, and, and I think this is the other funniest one. They say, you must have lost weight. Have you lost weight? And what's even funnier is that I'm probably the heaviest I've ever been. Thank you, pandemic. And in um, middle age, thank you for all that. Yes. And, and, but what they're, 
what what's resonating for people, what's different about me is that my inside matches my outside and that that gets stronger every, every single day. So I, I wanted to personally invite Marianne in here because not only do I feel like this is for you personally, but I guarantee you, your participants in your program, which are the people that we are con most concerned about, are struggling with being more and doing more than they are today. It's literally the reason they hired you. If they could do this for themselves, they'd be out there doing it, right? But they're hiring you because not only are they looking to you to teach them something new, but they're looking for you to help them bridge the gap between what is comfortable for them now versus what they want to be comfortable for them in the future. So Marianne, I'm going to stop talking and turn it over to you. She's going to, um, you know, take you through this experience, what you might do, or, or actually we're going to do actually some of the things we did together and, and help you get a sense for this internal power center and how it can actually increase your confidence tremendously. And people will be asking you, what's different about you? And when they do that, I just want you to smile. I want you to just smile because you, you know what it is, but they don't. So Marianne, take it away for us. Okay. Well, thank you, Susan. Um, tonight, I thought it would be really good if I took you through the process so people can see it and experience it in that way, because we're energetic beings. And when we know what to do with our own energy, we not only will be seen and heard, but people will remember us. They will listen in a different way and they'll get what we're saying. And it's not about the words and it's not about the strategy. It's about your presence. So I'm going to invite you. I think, are you seated or standing? I'm seated. I'm going to invite you to stand. Can you do that? Um, try not to look down here. I want to look in the camera. But can you stand up comfortably and still be seen um, in your? Probably not. Let me see if I can just pop this up a little bit higher on something. Okay. How's that? I think we're good, right? That's good. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to invite you to do, are your feet shoulder width apart? Let me get my chair all the way out of the way. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then your, your arms are down at your sides. They are. Wonderful. And what I would like for you to do is just get really into your head. You know, we spend most of our days, most of us, in our heads, thoughts going bing, 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 all the time. And to really have that be extreme for you, like almost like your thoughts are binging outside your head, like those cartoon characters with the bubble above their head. And so bring yourself into that space. Let me know when you're there. Okay, I'm ready. Good. And so for those of you watching this, the easiest way to get there is to start worrying about something. I'm not going to leave her there. <laughs> Which is not really hard to do, right? And I, and I want to also encourage you, if you're in the audience live with us, I see a couple of people on, or if you're watching this, get up, get up, get out of your seat, listen to everything Marianne is, is telling you and do this along with me. Okay. So you're standing straight. And I would like for you to, from your head space... I want you to tell me how your day has been today. So I'm probably going to turn and look at you now. So, <laughs> Okay. So this is what it sounds like coming from my head. Today was so freaking busy. I had, you know, a coaching call. I have, you know, one solo coaching call. I had a group training program for the accelerator. My husband's out of town. So I'm like doing all the things. I took my kids to play softball this afternoon. It's my parents' 50th wedding anniversary. I forgot about it. I had to go post a picture. I, you know, have been running all day. Now I have this meeting here at seven o'clock tonight. And honestly, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Okay. Wonderful example of being in your head. <laughs> I'm sure you all can relate to, oh, all this stuff. That's, okay. and, and honestly, that's like the general noise in my head, like constant. Yes. Good. Okay. Now I would, I'm going to invite you to stay where you are. Close your eyes. 
And I want you to drop your attention down into your power center. For women, it's four inches below the belly button, back inside that pelvic bowl. For men, it's two inches below the belly button, back inside the pelvic bowl. And I want you to breathe into that space and bring yourself, your attention is there, bring yourself as if you're inside that pelvic bowl. And I'm just going to, as you're doing that, I'm going to just say that we have a physical body, the bones, the muscles, the blood, all that, but we have an energetic body, the life force or the chi that runs through us. And this power center is the center core of your body, and it has its own consciousness beyond the physical that leads us directly to our authentic power. So breathing into that space, Susan, allowing yourself to be fully there. And then as you are breathing into that, allow some of the energy from that center to flow down your legs and down through your feet, down through the floor. And then however many floors it has to go down. So it goes into the earth. So you're really grounded. And let me know when it feels like you're really in there and you feel really grounded. I feel it. Wonderful. Now, when you open your eyes, I want you to speak from this power center. And I want you to just allow whatever wants to be known from this power center to be spoken. And again, you're going to speak about how your day has been, but you're going to speak from this center. So when you're ready, you can open your eyes and tell me from your power center how your day has been. So today was was really interesting. You know, it was, was a very interesting day and it was honestly quite fulfilling. You know, not only did I have a couple of private coaching sessions, I had a private coaching session, I had an amazing session today for my accelerator group, but my kids started spring break. So I carved out time in the afternoon and we went and played softball. Um, I actually hit a line drive. I, I, I almost thought I was going to hit one of my kids in the face. Thank goodness that did not happen. But, you know, it was a beautiful day. We ha- we just had like an hour and a half of just fun and enjoyment. None of us took our phones. Everybody left the phones at home. And, you know, we came home. We've had dinner. My husband's been away, uh, which is such a an interesting thing in our family because my entire marriage, I've been married over 20 years. My husband has traveled. And since the pandemic, he's now home and he has taken over a lot of responsibilities around the house. So this was sort of the first time that I've been back to like the old life, which was, you know, not only me working, running my business, but pretty much taking care of everything having to do with the house and the kids. So um, I realized how much I appreciate the fact that he is so present now and that there's so much more um, sharing of, you know, the, 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 the hard part of being a parent, but just the joy, you know, the, the joy of those everyday experiences. I don't think my husband ever realized how much he missed. Beautiful. Beautiful. So now I would like for you to tell me from within you, did it feel different to you when you were talking from your head versus your power center? Absolutely. And what was the difference? So when, when you're in your head, it's this like, talk about your head, not, not when you're in your head. Okay. When I was in my head, my head, it's a constant stream of what's next, what's next, what's next, what's next. What did I do? What's next? What did I do? What's next? My days are very, and from this, from this experience, from this yeah. experience, 
Um, well, that's what I'm saying from this experience. So when I'm when I talk about it up here, it's really the frenetic action of the day. Mm -hmm. But when I ground in and come way down, I tap into far more of the emotion and the experience behind it, as opposed to the just the news of it, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. How did it feel? How did and how did it feel in your body when you were in your head speaking? And when you were in your power center speaking, was it different? Yeah. And, I'm, and I would be curious to know if anyone in the audience watched the first part. I can feel my whole body like tense up, my shoulders rise mm -hmm. when I find myself up here. And the second I drop down further into my body, everything drop down, drops down with me. Mm -hmm. So I would tell you that not only does the quality of what I'm thinking change changes, but my total feeling in my body shifts down as well. Good. So um, you touched on this. It was something I was going to say too. If you're watching the replay and did this, notice for yourself how it felt to you in your body. And then also notice if you're watching the replay, how you felt in relation to Susan. So usually when someone is speaking from their head, we feel disconnected. And then when they're speaking from their power center, it's like a warm fuzzy almost, even though you can be in business doing this, it's not like you're gonna be namby pamby. And it has a connecting factor that you don't associate and, and at all have when you're speaking from the head. The head is more like a list and a reporting and all of this, but down here, you're speaking from who you truly be. So you're going to be speaking energetically to the beingness, if you will, of another being, and they will get it on a deeper level. And they don't even have to know you're doing this. You don't have to know anything about energy. That's what I love about it. So did you notice, was the content different between your head and when you were speaking from your power center? Yes, completely different. Mm -hmm. you know, from, from my head was the, the daily list, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, the Rolodex flipping, right? Um, this, that, and the next thing. Uh, you know, from from lower, from the power center, it's really far more of the experience, of the emotion, of the connection. Um, if I could just add one thing in here, for me, and, and if I'm getting ahead, let me know, um, the difference in my writing when I take a moment to go from here into here is completely different. Mm -hmm. So the message, what I say, how I say it, um, the way it comes from me is completely different than when the message is coming from something I'm thinking about versus something that I'm that I know about or that I feel from within. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to ask you and also those who are uh, viewing this later, who would you rather be around? Someone mm -hmm. that's in their head? or someone that's in their power center? Who do you wanna have relationships with? Yeah, even as a personal self, I enjoy the latter self much more than the frenetic self. Mm -hmm. And I've had so many people um, tell me after they come to a little intro about this, that their relationship with their significant other and their children and there are other people in their family and their friends has changed just by this one simple thing. Completely. And I can attest to that even just in the way that, you know, again, like from a business standpoint, how I write my content, how I do my emails, what I'm working on, what I'm doing, my posts, all of that changes. But when my energy shows up, not in that frenetic state, my children react differently to it immensely. So does, so does my husband, so does my family, so does my team. But I also find that I'm a lot less quick to anger. Mm -hmm. I have a lot more patience. <laughs> I'm in a place of um, gratitude 
versus, you know, um, trying to drive and push things through. Um, it's a far more of like an energetic flow state than it is like hardcore. And I'm, and I'm very much the hardcore. We got to do this. 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 When I let go of, of that and I let things flow a little bit more, um, it's completely, it's completely different. Yeah. It's a, it's a softening in a sense. Mm -hmm. And so people can hear it in a whole different way. It really allows you to have deeper connections with people, even if they've just met you. It's so true. They have a they have okay. a trust level of you because you're being who you truly be. And they sense that even though they don't know what it is. That's OK. Mm -hmm. They get it. Yeah. They and that's it. what I was saying earlier. You know, I'll have people say to me, what's different <laughs> Like, what's different? And I just, I kind of smile because it's sort of hard to explain. Like, even in this moment here, I'm sure people are popping in and out of this live stream if they're not watching it from the start and saying, what are they doing? <laughs> what is this? Because it's not anything you would learn in school. It's not anything, you know, that's part of your college curriculum. Or, um, you know, most workplaces don't teach anything like this. So, you know, the opportunity to tap into, you know, a gift like this is truly, um, it's truly life changing. And this yeah. is just in a couple of minutes, you know? Yeah. And so minutes. explaining is in the head. You mm -hmm. can't explain this. You have to experience have to it experience it because yes. it's in the energy. We Mary are and, in the Mary and I, Mary we're, and in I higher, we're in a higher frequency vibration yeah. when we're in our power center. We're in a lower frequency vibration when we're in our head. And I'm going to add with everything going on in the world, in my opinion, mm -hmm. it is so important to be in a high frequency vibration so that you can stay above the fray, if you will. Yes. And I, and I, I was going to, I want to like sort of caveat onto that as well. Marianne and I have done this previously with a live group where we sent people out into breakout rooms to actually do this. And the feedback um, over and over again was they left thinking, thinking, right? I don't even know what this means. <laughs> and then they did it and they came back and there, and they said too, I couldn't explain this to anyone. Like you could, you couldn't, you couldn't explain this to anyone. And I think the other thing that if anyone's sort of practicing this and trying this at home, um, you know, I worked with Marianne over the course of, I think we did at least, you know, three months at a time and we did a couple of sessions and I did some group things that she did. So, you know, at this point, the process of me finding my power center, getting into that light globe, putting myself is, is automatic and it's easy. But I'm thinking back to the first couple of sessions with you. And I was like, what do you mean power set? Like, I couldn't even find it because it was this grinchy little. Do you remember that? How funny that I was like, it's like a, it's like a little nugget. I'm like, how is this little nugget supposed to protect all of me? And so a lot of the work that we did for the first couple of sessions was just even figuring out how to make this thing bigger and like bring it out into my body so that it could actually be a protector to me. So um, if that's not making sense, that's definitely something that comes. You know? And I'm going to add to that, that oftentimes for women in particular, when we are dropping down into this area, this is really your womb space. A lot has happened in womb space. And sometimes women have a hard time going there. Yeah. And I'm so very we, do hard lot, we do a lot of clearing around being able to get there very gently, step by step, whatever it takes so that you can fully be in your power center. And any time that you have your attention in the lower half of your body, you'll feel kind of a, a little bit of a heaviness in the lower half of your body because you're so grounded. And when you're in that space, Nobody can knock you off. You're in your power. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'll share one story about that um, very quickly. Just difference night and day between 
you know, sort of before working with Marianne and then after working with Marianne. So I had a, a an incident not that long ago where there was an, a, a significant, you know, overcharge to a client. And there was a real question over whether or not we were going to have to pay this money back. And it was a good deal of money, especially for, you know, a smaller business owner. And I have to tell you, I didn't even lose sleep over it. And there was a time um, in the not that distant past that something like that would have sent me like, I wouldn't have slept for days. I would have worried morning, noon, and night about what was going to happen. I would have gone so far down a rabbit hole that, um, you know, I, I would have, I, 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 it would have been excruciating. But because I don't really need to do that anymore, you know, it was just, a, it was just a thing. And it, the thing was going to be what the thing was going to be. And we would deal with whatever that thing was going to be. And I think that's a direct result of being able to be strong from within. You know, I don't get knocked off of center that much anymore. I do, but not anything like I used to. Not well, the thing like is, when you do get off center mm -hmm. or knocked off center, it doesn't take long to come back. No. Mm -mm. See, that's, that's the real key. You've got to really anchor this into your cells. So it becomes second nature. Yep. Agreed. Agreed. So Marianne, we have a couple of minutes left. Is there anything in particular that you would want everyone to know? And if not, let's just talk about how could someone get connected to you if they're interested um, in experiencing this for themselves with you? Why don't you talk people through that a little bit? Well, for one thing I wanted to just mention, uh, we all want to get people's attention, but we also need to keep it. And so when you really anchor this in to who you be, you are being that all the time and people will come back. <laughs> they, will, they will revisit you and they, they want to be around you. And so you keep their attention, but it takes practice. You can do this and go, oh, yeah, but it's not like, oh, I've done this once. Now I've got it. Excuse me. Yes. No. <laughs> it, takes, it takes more than a while one, right? to master it. And you need to be able to anchor yourself in it. And there's all kinds of ways with women in particular, but men too, where we actually abandon our power without knowing it. There's body apologies, different stances, different ways that we Ooh, um, that inadvertently. We body, in, body apologies? Yeah, we inadvertently give our power away and we don't even know it. Oh. So I'm offering a complimentary, um, what did we call this uh, session tonight? I was naming it after this session, how to take action with unwavering certainty. So I'm, I'm offering a complimentary session so that we will anchor you into what we did tonight, but I'm also going to have you on camera where I can see where else are you giving your power away? That's huge. So you can you can go to the link. I think you're going to put it. Somewhere. I'm putting it in the comments right now. OK, uh, you can go to that link and sign up for a time. And I look forward to uh, seeing you and work uh, walking you through all of this and finding out a little, of course, about what you do as well and uh, making any kind of suggestions that I see. Uh, when you come on camera that are also taking your power. I think that's huge because that would be something you wouldn't know for yourself. Mm -hmm. You would never be able to figure that out for yourself. Mm -hmm. Somebody has to, um, you know, somebody has to point that out to you um, and expand, right? Uh, your mind when it comes to that. So Marianne, we are right on our 30 minutes. I could not thank you anymore for sharing this with us. If you've been live in and out, I hope that you enjoyed this experience and got a, a good sense and taste for what this could bring to you. We will make this available. It stays on in the events tab and we will make it available 
um, to, to uh, you know, to have as well. So Marianne, thank you so, so much for sharing your expertise with us. And I am so grateful. Actually, I'm just so grateful, really, truly in my own life that I had the chance to meet you and um, work with you. And it's been wonderful to continue um, connecting with you in this way and, you know, sharing your message with even more people because it's a really good one to have for sure. You're very welcome. It's wonderful yeah. to be with you again. And we'll see you soon. Sounds good. Bye now.